big shout out to glitch energy for sponsoring today's video guys don't forget i got my own flavor it's called maui punch and so make sure to go buy it and use code jmiles to get your 20 percent off when you do so it actually helps the channel out a massive amount and trust me i have the best flavor on the website so make sure to pick you up some would hope after three days of no news that there was probably going to be something big here to talk about and honestly there are a few things but not a lot apex news is still so dry nonetheless i do have a couple things that i am pretty excited to talk about here also some unfortunate news about the future of apex here so if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends news related make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and comment down below today is going to be the last video that you can enter into the horizon heirloom giveaway i was going to pick a winner today but i hadn't made a video in a while so i figured i'd give it one more chance so if you guys want to enter into that today's your last day and if you can't tell yes i am a little sick as well first thing that i wanted to mention was actually coming from hyper the data miner a leaker someone who has a lot of inside information as well a lot of people are getting things confused as to when a lot of this stuff is coming so we have a brand new legend that was found and a lot more code that was added into the file as well however for you think new legend coming in the new season we think it's not going to work exactly like that so just in case you're not aware this legend that was recently added to the game files is called conduit and of course a lot of these uh, abilities are super old so i'm sure a lot of this stuff has been changed or will be changing very soon but the concept is the tactical is an arc flash which heals the shields of targeted allies at the cost of some of your own shields hold the target and release to fire now the passive ability is called capacitance which basically would give like a little radius of a you know shield regeneration here similar to watson's passive except for it's going to be for her entire teammates as well ultimate ability is an alternating current which conduit launches an arc cluster bomb damaging the shields of the people near the blast and heals conduit shields as well based on the damage dealt so if you heard our video the other day here's what i really wanted to say it seems like apex is very specifically going in a direction of siphon and i'm really like kind of blown away by how we've asked for this for quite some time and now it seems like we might be getting that with revenant and with conduit so one of the revenant reborn abilities in another build of the game suggested that the new revenant totem for the ultimate ability will actually allow you to go and deal damage to other opponents and get their health and get their shield or whatever it may be siphoning the uh you know health points i guess over there to yourself and it seems like conduit has something very similar here with the damage that you deal on this cluster bomb will also come to your shields as well so two new legends that are going to be released and two of them have siphoning abilities really crazy now ross the squirrel had actually posted a good bit of this stuff and ross is a good friend i think ross is a great guy however a lot of people are saying though that this legend should be coming in season 18 and that is actually not what we think so according to data miners like i Luke games a lot of these people have actually suggested that what was more likely to happen is the fact that revenant reborn would be the legend launch for season 18 then you would have conduit be next but we don't know for sure if it's going to be season 19 but it sounds very likely that it could be season 19 but it is not a safe suggestion to say that revenant reborn would actually be after conduit and it's definitely not safe to say the conduit's coming in season 18. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, leaks are just leaks. Until you know something for sure, you can't say for sure. But I don't think the conduit is coming next season. Although I do got to say, I'm pretty happy with the whole idea that we're adding siphon to the game now. I really hope though that like if they do add these siphoning abilities, I kind of hope that Revenant and Conduit would be meta to some degree because I personally feel like Battle Royale is going to be more balanced if we have siphoning abilities. I don't know, the Revenant one sounds a little bit better because I feel like that one's more anti-third party and Conduit is more of like an ability that doesn't really help you upon eliminating a squad. So interested to see what you guys have to say there. Also wanted to mention that you guys remember a couple days ago, I reported that AG420 had actually found new cross progression code where cross progression underscore enabled cross progression underscore player card maximum number cross progression underscore set main profile error block in now this was actually found about maybe what is it seven days ago now so about a week ago and then you also had hyper Mist giving an update to more ui code added to the files and that it should be arriving soon so i would imagine obviously with the new update and stuff maybe this is when a lot of these uh you know new files were added because we didn't really have much of this at all until the new update came out so cross progression underscore checkbox cross progression underscore profile underscore button and cross underscore progression profile underscore info I have no idea why i'm saying underscore so hyper Mist suggests that this code means that the feature is almost finished in its testing phase and should be releasing soon now here's the other part i want to intertwine 
Garrett Leaks had also said that season 18 seems to be more of a parody season or not a parody, a sequel season, if you will, or basically in iLoot Games confirmed this as well to me in a stream chat that it seems to be more of a filler season once again. So season 17 doesn't seem to have all that much of stuff going on. He said to me in my stream yesterday, and this would make sense because Garrett just reported the same thing a couple of hours ago in the new season 18 news where it's called like kind of codename Res. You have Res Dop B, Res Dop A, which is the battle pass, Res Anime, and Res Harb. It seems like they could be doing parody seasons because we've already had an anime event. So it seems like not parody. Why I keep saying parody? Sequel seasons. You might have a sequel anime event. The Res Dop B, considering that the battle pass is Res Dop A, you would consider or maybe assume that maybe they're doing a sequel battle pass as well i'm not sure exactly what harb is but yeah it seems like it could be a season of like bringing some og stuff back and like maybe like sequels of some sorts i don't really know and not to like scare you or anything but possibly like uh you know maybe like a recolor season or something i think the fans would absolutely flip their lid if that happened also someone had pointed out that maybe res stands for resurrection which would make sense about revenant reborn coming in season 18 but because all of this is happening that means that normally when they do seasons like that normally not always they normally have a big feature that is coming that they know is going to enlist a lot of bugs a lot of issues and they're going to have to spend the entire season trying to fix it so this would make sense for cross progression to actually release next season that's exactly what data miner hyper mist had also suggested that there's a very high chance it's coming in season 18 since the season seems to be a little bit dead now this is a good and bad thing of course cross progression coming is a pretty good thing but the bad thing is i don't think that this is as hyped up as a feature as say like you know cross play in the past was or maybe something like a massive game mode or mixtape playlist or something that is permanent that's really changing the game big time I don't think that like this is going to be a very fun feature. It's just going to be a nice convenience package, basically. And the fact that we have to trade that off with a very lackadaisical season is going to suck. But to be fair, mm, this season was kind of lackadaisical too. To be honest with you, as long as season 18 has good rank changes, I'm happy. And it's not going to be that hard to make it better because we're already in like the worst rank state of all time for Apex Legends. And then you also consider that, that they just got rid of the, the good map splits and stuff. And now you got Broken Moon playing it again and like... Nobody really likes Broken Moon for ranked as besides like maybe like the casuals, maybe. I don't know. Well, the only way from here has got to be up. As you can see from rank distribution stats, there is a massive problem within the game right now. Just as we close the video out, want to mention this. this is actually pretty exciting, I think, for a lot of you. So the leaker bot has actually detected that there. He said he can't confirm, however, how credible this is. But the leakers on duty team have found job listings for Apex. Listen to this. Regarding mobile, which included cross progression with mobile, and mobile ux design and if this is true apex will return to mobile with cross progression with apex hd hopefully pretty soon so it seems like they've got this ball rolling now i did say in the past we knew that apex mobile would be returning anyways and that they would do it with cross progression and it seems like now that cross progression is coming near maybe they will finally get this stuff ready to be honest with you though i don't really know how good that apex is going to run on mobile like i understand apex mobile was created to run on mobile like the original one so like therefore it ran pretty well but like the actual apex game where you can play cross play progression and all this stuff like similar to how fortnite could play on mobile and xbox or mobile and pc together you know that thing kind of worked pretty well but i don't know how well apex is going to work to be honest interested to see what you guys have to say down in the comment section below make sure to like the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends news related and until the next time i will see you all later gators